<sighs> What's up everybody and welcome back to the Wizard's Chest. I am Kyle. Thanks for stopping by to check out another toy haul. Uh, it's not too big, but I did get some pretty awesome stuff. And there will be another haul video later on this week as I am playing catch up, but it's all good. A lot of you reached out and kind of said you're sorry to see another toy store go. So Lost Toys is now officially closed. Uh, very sad to say. Yeah, it sucks. What can you say? But I wish Matt and Brian all the best, of course. And thank you for everything you did for me. So once again, thanks guys. When they were shutting down, I did get a chance to stop by one last time and, and there was a Motu Classics piece that they had for quite some time that I had been eyeing, but uh, just didn't pull the trigger on it because the price and other things were coming out. So what the heck, I've decided to pull the trigger and go ahead and pick it up. And it is the Battle Ram with the exclusive Man at Arms with the unhelmeted version and to me he looks like Matt Damon he looks like a space age Matt Damon man at arms uh, but pretty sweet love the box art for sure uh, I do keep these all in the box and show you the back of it actually let's uh, take it into the other room so I can give you a little bit more detail close-up pictures of this real quick and the battle ram with Matt Damon <laughs> very very cool color scheme on the battle ram got the snake head on the front it includes exclusive man at arms mobile launcher with figure I like the different colors down there and then on the back got that very trippy 60s style colors and then I like these on the back they remind me of like a Leonardo da Vinci sketch or something very cool for $75 can you believe that 75 bucks all right next up is the second to the last one that I need all I need now is silver sable to complete the kingpin here we have two of his face sculpts and uh, the symbiote spider-man I checked a couple different ones this was the best paint application there was one that had one that looked like the paint applications on the chest and then the ab were completely different because one had a gloss on it and one was matte um, so but this one was was even Steven so uh, yeah definitely very cool um, Side note though, I did watch Into the Spider-Verse the other day. Holy crap, that movie was good. I red boxed it just because I was like, eh, maybe it's not going to be too good. Maybe I won't be into it. Holy cow, it, it blew me away for sure. So I will be picking that movie up very soon. Alright, here he is out of package. Symbiote Spider-Man. Comes with two sets of hands. Closed fists. And then, of course, those open, larger claw hands. Awesome posability. It's got some butterfly joints. Double hinge on the knee. Ankle pivot. Pretty cool. I definitely like the look of this one. How those little flaps come out. Yeah. All right, next up, you know I had to get some X-Men Toy Biz in this week. Uh, this is one that I did not know about because it's the 8th edition. <laughs> it's Space Wolverine in a gold space suit. Very, very cool looking. Of course, you have the uh, card art that is uh, particular to the individual character in the package, which I love. You got the very bright, vibrant 90s colors, orange, blues, yellows. Very, very cool looking. I'm still on the hunt for the Blackbird Jet and the Blackbird Jet playset. Um, but those are going for quite a pretty penny. Ruffles is digging in the bed right now. <laughs> what are you doing back there? And here's a little bit more 
steady, less glary Wolverine. Very, very cool spacesuit. He's not too happy to be there. Ah, uh, looks like a vampire right there. What's up with that? There's that Blackbird jet I'm on the hunt for. That's pretty cool. And sticking with Wolverine, I finally pulled the trigger on the brown and yellow suit Wolverine, the classic Wolverine. Uh, he does come with a red katana. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and bust this guy out of the package real quick instead of me talking about it. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. All right, here it is. Oh, the packaging looking great. Those gritting teeth, angry face. Awesome sculpt on the boots. Pretty sweet claws, very straight. Then he comes with multiple sets of hands. You can put the claws in there too if you want. It's pretty cool. And an additional head swap. And a really cool katana with a sheath. Come on. Very nice. But I have been wanting the uh, Tiger Stripe Wolverine. Obviously, that's most people's favorite suit. So, uh, but I think now it's like I want to say like three hundred, if not more, dollars. But uh, I'd definitely be interested someday when it goes down a little bit. I hope. All right, and last but not least, I am a fan of the old school Shapeshifters line from Toy Biz. This is Rhino, and he. Uh, transforms into a rhino <laughs> pretty sweet he's got that big old honking horn on his head uh let's see um i don't have saber tooth hulk or the spider scent spider-man uh but i do have the thor punisher and something else i can't remember right now not cyclops did they no i can't remember but anyways these are very cool lots of fun Alright, here is Rhino in his Rhino form, as we all know and love him. He's been brushing his teeth, flossing his eyes. He looks a little stoned, maybe. He's been smoking the Savannah weed. Oops. But let's uh, go ahead and transform this sucker into a raging Rhino. And he is transformed. Not the best transformation out there, but not bad. Got an articulated mouth. That's pretty cute. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you stopping by and hanging out with me for a little bit. If you haven't done so, please hit that subscribe button. I really would appreciate it. All those who have already done so, thank you so much, and I will talk to you guys later on down the road. Bye-bye!